Welcome to Takeout, the new series on my channel where I take out horror to get takeout and then we talk it out. It's not exactly a mukbang, but it's not exactly a podcast either. It's a mix of both. The way it works is that at the beginning of the episode we go and get takeout and the rule is that we have to get food that we've never ever tried before. It has to be completely new to us and that will be the first, I want to say, you know, couple minutes of the episode. And then the next 15 to 20 minutes will just be kind of podcast format where we just talk about our lives and talk about our days and just things in general with our lives. That sound about right? That'll work. Yeah, it works. So today we're getting McDonald's and we're going to get stuff that we've never tried before. We don't know yet what that is, but um, we're getting McDonald's for episode one. I think that's a really good start. I feel like I'm going to get fat. Yeah, we're probably going to gain a couple LBs on this. So let's go in the drive through <laughs> Hi, can you give me a minute, please? Right, I'm Iced turtle coffee? What the heck is that? It's like a chocolate. I think I'm gonna get that. Iced turtle That's coffee. That's what I was gonna get. Oh, well. I'll, all right, you get, I'll get the macchiato. Okay. <laughs> you get the coffee. Okay. Mine sounds higher up. I think we should get a filet of fish. Why not? I've never had one. You've never had it? Okay. Sausage biscuit with egg. All right. Two of those? Yeah. And then we share the filet of fish? Yeah. I've had a hash brown before. Can we just throw it in? <laughs> Just one, just one hash brown. I want one really badly. Okay. Really okay. okay, we're ready to go. Can I help you? Hi, can I get one iced turtle coffee? One iced turtle macchiato? I feel so weird. And then two sausage biscuits with egg. And then can we get cheese on both those? One filet of fish and two hash browns. Can I uh, yeah. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. Thank you. I don't really know how much the filet of fish is going to fit into this. This yeah. is like kind of a breakfast thing. Yeah, I, we ordered breakfast but with fish. It's 6.20 p.m. We just spent $17 at Char or McDonald's. Thank you. You too. I wonder how much they're going to pay you on the window. <laughs> it's 50 cents more than the wage, so I guess it's better. Oh, it's 10, 15 minutes? I think it is. Do you think they had that in mind when they made their... Like, we don't want to be minimum wage. We want to be a little better. We don't better. want to be that low. <laughs> McDonald's motto is like just a little better than average. When I said macchiato, I felt some kind of way. <laughs> I didn't feel like myself. Never had. <laughs> she like brings it out and she's like, uh, you guys get the macchiato? We're like, yeah. Yeah, that's us. We're actually waiting on the hash browns. Okay. Okay, sounds good. You too. 3 or 4 p.m., this is where they send me. But is I, this your spot? Yeah. Because, oh, yeah, your name's up there. <laughs> because, like, they don't have any of the breakfast ready, so they have to prepare it all. You think they ordered breakfast? No, I think they just took so much time with our stuff that they're like, you know, pull ahead, we're ruining late because of the assholes. Where we had those assholes ordering <laughs> breakfast at <laughs> 6 20. Oh, here he comes. God, it feels so awkward having a camera. I'll just meet him outside and go, like, you know what, you just to me. Awesome, thank you. That was fine, I handled it. How do we know which one's which? Ice turtle coffee. I think that's mine, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's damn. Mine's bigger. <laughs> they know I had to deal with you. <laughs> okay, so this is a sausage McMuffin with cheese. It's basically just a biscuit, sausage, cheese, and another biscuit. It's one whole biscuit. Well, it kind of goes biscuit, cheese, sausage, biscuit. You said biscuit, sausage, cheese, biscuit. I go, I, I start from the bottom, now we're here. That's, <laughs> go ahead and try it out. Dink it and sink it, right? We can't, that's copyright infringement. What, what, what can we say? We My say mouth something. is watering. Okay, let's just eat it. It's exactly what I expected, which is perfect. Also, we're hungry as hell. I feel like I'm gonna start running. You're gonna start running? Yeah. This has inspired you to run. It's giving me the energy. It's very crumbly. It is. Okay, I have to say that. We'll say pros and cons of each thing. It is very crumbly. It'll create a mess. Of just breadcrumbs everywhere. Maybe it's not a great cut. So now we're trying our. Do we spin it? Seems like the right thing to do. I have an iced turtle coffee. I know it's the iced turtle macchiato. Yeah. I think I said it right. Yeah, I mean, those are pretty simple ones. <laughs> well, the ice part, I messed up. That gets people. Why don't you try yours first, a macchiato? There's a lot of chocolate. It's very sweet. It's very delicious. You're supposed to describe the drink, not your <laughs> person you're in the car with. What's a con about it? Too sweet. Too sweet, yeah. I'll try my iced turtle coffee now. What's the difference between macchiato and a coffee? I... You're asking what the wrong person, for sure. <laughs> so this tastes just like a... Like, if you've gotten a frappe from here... I haven't had that. Never had it. Like, I just didn't want to get, like, five drinks. That's true, yeah. Don't want to do that. Because I've never got a Sprite from here either. Yeah, but that, but you've had the Sprite before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they make it different here. They don't. <laughs> they don't make it here? They don't make it here, no. That's not locally made. It's farm? <laughs> yeah. The Sprite farm out back, they just squeeze the Sprite cows. They're just green cows. So this tastes just like a Frappe. If you haven't ever had a Frappuccino, it tastes, I mean, it just tastes like iced coffee, which is exactly what it is with chocolate in it. Turtles are chocolate. I mean, 
chocolate. Might want the turtle part is a certain type of chocolate, right? Oh, right, turtle chocolate, right? Now, I don't know if you're mocking me or not. No, I mean, a con of this would be, I think, I agree, too sweet. I'm gonna coffee off, coffee off. I'm gonna coffee off your test, and I'm gonna say it's a little too sweet. Too sweet for me, you know? Next thing, I've had a bite or two of this. Hoyer's never tried it. It is a, oh god, oh god. A fish fillet. This is what it looks like. The bun is way too perfect. It doesn't look like a real bun. There's a, oh my, just That's a okay. lot of mayo. Yeah, off the, off the start, there's just a lot of mayo up top. Mayo or tartar sauce? Oh, it's tartar sauce actually. Good luck. Wow, connoisseur. I've had a lot of fish tacos in my life. Okay. I got tartar sauce on my pants. <laughs> but, How would you rate it? Um, or should I buy it first? Then? Yeah, we'll, we'll say our numbers at the same time. You have a number locked in? Yeah. Okay, so on the count of three, we'll release our numbers out of ten. Okay. One, two, three, six. Four. Wow. That is low. Holy shit. Five. <laughs> I'll give it a five. I'll play it at 50. Okay. Either way, it's still just it's really just, below average. I wouldn't order it. No, yeah, no, I wouldn't either. Okay, so now we get to... It's enjoy. pretty much like dessert. Yeah. <laughs> or desert, depends how you say it. The way I actually remembered how to s differentiate dessert from desert... Well, is one's a, like a sweet, savory... Okay. Well, I meant the spelling of them. Oh. Yeah. The way you remembered... I spell them the same. You can't really do that. They're two different words. The way I differentiate them is dessert is super sweet, so it has two S's. While desert's, you know, not as sweet. It's one S. So here's a hash brown. Uh, everyone knows and loves them, and we're gonna just go ahead and... Didn't wait for me. That's good. I feel the oils on my face, and then there's just acne just popping up everywhere. Honestly, yeah, there's a couple whiteheads pointing me on my neck right now. <laughs> this is the grossest thing to talk about. Well, that was good. That was a good taste test. Okay, so I'm gonna say on top is the sausage McMuffin. Second, the iced coffee. Yep. And then the bottom, like far bottom. It's out of the car. It's, it's not in here. It's not even in here. We shouldn't even say it. Fish fillet. There you go. So that was the eating part. The way that takeout will be set up is that we're going to eat, uh, taste test stuff, and just, you know, eat whatever we want. Eat, eat the new stuff. We might even go back through and get more. You know what? I highly doubt that, but we... You know what? I'm not going to take anything out of the picture. Because some french fries sound... <laughs> I mean, just don't want to... don't want to fatten you up. So now we're just going to uh -uh. talk about our lives and like who... Do we want to introduce ourselves? I don't... I feel like... No, I think, think they got it. Oh, really? Yeah. You think You think people... They're not going to get mixed. I mean, people... Yeah, they're not going to get us mixed up. It, it, like, no one knows who you are, though, you know? Because, well, I mean, you're in the videos, you know, some of my vlogs, and I'll talk about... I want to talk about later my summer schedule because I do have a schedule for summer set up for uploads. So we'll get into that, but <laughs> still, do you like the filet of fish? It's gaining on me. Yeah. It kind of, when you're hungry, some weird stuff like that tastes good. Go ahead, like, introduce your name. Where, where, where are you at in life, you know? In a I terrible am, uh, place. <laughs> fresh out of the womb. You are. Wow. You can, your mother must have been real upset. You were humongous. Did she die? Yep. Yeah. Damn. Well, no. I died, but I came back to life. This is okay. Where, where are you at in school? What, what are you doing with your life, you know? I'm going to do what everyone else that doesn't know what they want to do, what they do. They go for a nice business degree. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's, uh, are I, you telling me I'm wrong? I don't want to disagree. I don't want to agree either. I'm going to be on the fence on that one. Um, it's a good route to go if you're not decisive in college, you know? And then it's rather, oh, you go, yeah, you go you, work full time or you go to school. Or you go to school. work part time. Yeah. And then I have money to pay for this nice, nice uh, gourmet food we have here. Jeez. Okay. Oh, do you want to? Do you want to shades off? I feel like... I just didn't even know they're on. You've been a stranger to them. You've been an absolute stranger. The sun's bright. sun's back there. Well, I mean, this was a really... I think as far as the taste test for the first episode, it was really successful. I think it's really important to get a drink every time, though. Because I, I like having this, you know? They got a lot of drinks. These ones are new, too. Yeah, these are new. We can be the first ones. Yeah? To reveal them online? Yeah. Man. So I say you put <laughs> turtle macchiato in the name, yeah. everyone's going to be like, oh my gosh. 
He's got the brand new turtle macchiato. He's got the turtle macchiato with Actually, the fish filet. You, you had the. That's a terrible setup. Those two. We might have diarrhea later. All right. Well, you gonna, went to McDonald's, so what are you expecting? <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna like come in the same way it leaves, pretty much, just complete garbage. So you're going. <laughs> I feel like we've gone all over the place now. We're gonna come back. You're a. So you're a business degree. Yeah. How's that? You, uh, if someone else was like thinking about college, would you be like, hey, yeah, get a business degree? <laughs> no one's ever. I'll be said like, that. what do you like? What do you like in school? <laughs> They're like, I don't like school, and then you're like, okay, business degrees are away. Degree. <laughs> Damn. And make sure like you know someone that actually knows how to sign up for classes, because uh, what's that? I have no clue what goes on. Ooh. I have a guy on the inside. <laughs> I mean, as a business degree, you don't really need to know what goes on in my school. Just go with yeah. the flow. Yeah. Do you want any of this? No. Fish fillet is yours. That's all of you. So one thing. Okay. So this brand new series. It's gonna be. I have to say this episode will be the worst episode out of all. I of thought it's going great. That's the thing. I got a nice lunch. It's going it's great. It's sick. So it's actually more of a dinner. <laughs> it's not. It's fat. I'm fasting. It's like they skip a meal. Right. Maybe, I've always struggled with the idea of a meal between lunch and dinner. Because is it Linner or Dunch? No one's come up with a name for it. Or it's just a meal before dinner. It's a snack. It doesn't actually need a name. Oh, because brunch is... But that's the thing. Why did brunch get a name? So people would be like, oh, you want to go to brunch? No one's going to be like, oh, you want to go get some food before lunch or dinner? It's rather dinner or lunch. <laughs> you want to get uh, just, you know, entire meal at 4 p.m.? That's... <laughs> You should be, like, ashamed of yourself, so no one named it. We, Hoyer and I contact each other every day, whether it be Snapchat. Actually, it's just... It's more you just leave me on red. Yeah, okay, well... Open red, <laughs> same We contact each other through Snapchat pretty much every day. We have a pretty long streak, I would say. Almost on 500. I'll get you the exact number. Get that exact number. And so, we kind of already talked to each other a lot, and one thing we found, you know, being a struggle with this series, is that we want to say things to each other... But we can't because we want to save we're it for the We're at 489. Camp. Awesome. Oh, well, were you? No. No, no. Was I'll it? tell you after. Yeah, yeah, of course. We want to tell each other stuff, stories. We can't because we want to wait to record it. So now we get to talk about that stuff. And I'm excited. Oh, by the way, did you pull up our streak? See what number was that? Uh, oh, four, 489. 489. Okay. 489. 489. Thank Shit. you. 9 okay? He just, just clicked. Yeah, four, because he ate nine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. So now, okay, so I really want to hear about, Hoyer has been working, you've worked at a construction company for a long time, like almost a year now. It almost. was like 10, 10 months. 10 months. And that was just great. I had a good experience. Yeah. But now. Met a lot of good people. Yeah. It, and Made a lot of friends. Of course, long time friends. You still have a long time, I don't know about that, but we made friends. <laughs> just to the end of the last work day <laughs> and so now you're at a new job and i have no way like i all i know is like if i was someone was like oh i don't know why someone would do this be like oh what about Hori's new job i'd be like people ask about me that's the thing i don't think anyone does that. <laughs> so if they want to watch this thing be like oh this is how his life's going yeah exactly like so it. It, it, the only thing i know is like it's an electrical job that's that's all i know right electric company that was what i did yeah Oh, what do you do? Okay, so explain to me and to the camera, what what do you, like, what's your job now? Well, it's my third day, and I really haven't done anything. I just really sit at a desk, <laughs> I'm trying to get, I get told <laughs> to do something. Yeah. I got to carry paper up these stairs. Uh, they just have crates of paper, and they're like, they're, there's these, these boxes of paper. Yeah. And then there's, like, the rolls of paper for the plans and all this stuff. It's a, it's a good time. With the plans for the It's pretty much like time. going to the gym and... Getting paid for it. It's like a bodybuilder's dream. A lot of people, they're bodybuilders. I'm a bodybuilder. Oh, yeah, you're there. So, pretty much a bodybuilder. There's a lightweight, right? <laughs> means you get drunk easily. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, because you're low weight, even though it turns out you're kind of... <laughs> yeah, today I weighed myself. I weighed 204 pounds. You Oh, so we're... we're... I crossed the 204... The 200. 200 mark. Damn. Is that like a... 
point in everyone's life? I don't some, know. Some people will never touch Because everyone's much. told me I need to gain weight, so I'm, go, I'm working on it. <laughs> Who's that for you one? Just those donuts over in that plate? They're like, come eat us. They talk to me a lot. Damn. So yeah, you're 200. Does this change anything that you're 200 pounds? 200 yeah. something pounds? Yeah, you're. Yeah, if anything, it's like, oh, you actually did it. You yeah. crossed the 200 mark. It's a, it's an accomplishment. I think it's all muscle. Well, you got to turn that into I know it's all muscle. Yeah. It won't happen. No. Are you, you gonna work out this summer? You know, I, I'm gonna start running. <laughs> yeah, I work out. In my. Sleep do you sometimes. Out? You do? Oh wow. Are you are you asleep? You know how like dogs run in their sleep? Yeah. <laughs> I do the same thing. You just work out? Start just lifting weights. It's dangerous. The doctor told me it's <laughs> If I go into your room, there's just like a bunch of weights in the corner just set up. Yeah. Damn. It's a pretty cool setup I have. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm gonna start running this time. Actually, uh, well, before we get to me, I, I want to keep talking about your job. I want to know everything about it. I'm super curious. Oh, also. Before we get to this, just changing topics everywhere. How many people do you think are going to be like interested in this? Because this is my goal. One, because I'll watch it back and go, it's a pretty cool story. <laughs> I have a lot of connections. <laughs> I, I actually, well, we talked to, um, well, no. Well, everyone that just sees these videos are like, oh, I want to see Tyler. They're the favorite, so. <laughs> I think because he's like obnoxious and like, <laughs> so they don't have to really deal with him. They yeah. just get to see the video. Yeah, of course. That's true. Even the Krispy Kreme lady that in the drive-thru, she... She was like, you guys are pumped. That was a great... Pumped is a nice word. <laughs> she could have been so much... Meaner. What? Can you... Sorry, there's people have to show off sometimes. It's a blue Subaru. Get over it. Uh, I, remember I thought it was pretty cool. I was like, well, <laughs> don't tell him that. His ego's already huge. What Good thing we missed rush hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just, you know, just... To <laughs> McDonald's is right there. <laughs> we're looking at the drive-thru right now. Um, just to tell you where we are, we're looking straight at the drive-thru. So, what was I... I was talking about something, right? You were talking about how many people will care about this. Oh, yeah. I said one. And that's you. That's me. I think I would care a lot, you know? I think we can mark down two. My thing is, like, how, I think by the end of summer, what we should get is, like, ten people consistently commenting that aren't us. And that aren't, like, related to us. You know? So, like, 10 comments consistently by the end of summer, and by the end of the year, 20. I think that's a good goal. I can make 10 accounts. <laughs> if anyone, like, enjoys this, I'd be shocked. I feel if like... someone comes with me, like, oh, I, I enjoy what you said. <laughs> I enjoyed your story about your job about carrying paper up the stairs. I, I'll like... be like... What do you do in your free time? <laughs> I just had, I just had time to kill doing absolutely nothing. Just be counterproductive, so I decided to waste it on your stupid story. <laughs> no, I told my sister about it. She said I, I like the idea. Did she like my story? Well, actually, that's that's the thing. <laughs> Once we actually execute the idea, I feel like it might, the fans will fall off. I don't know. If you, you know. lose subscribers, I'm sorry. I'm just saying it now. <laughs> People see this and like, what the, what the hell is this? So I'm your employer, and I'm like, okay, tell me, <laughs> tell me about uh, what do you do at your current job? Why should we hire you? What what are your um, what, right. what will you what will you bring to us? Right. How many stories is your building? Um, seven. Okay. Are you sure you want me? Can you not? Did that change? I'm did just, you you were very interested. I'm in just saying, uh, how much paper do you guys have? Are you talking about your payroll? No, paper. Paper. Um, we're actually an iPad company. Not Apple. We have our own iPads. So there's no paper involved, actually. So... We just want to know, <clears throat> what can you bring to our company? Well, you see, my big thing is I... Mm -hmm. Do you have extra iPads? No, we just have the uh, perfect amount of iPads. So there's no like iPads downstairs that you need brought upstairs? Um, you know, occasionally there will be. There'll be some iPads I can do downstairs. that. You can do that. I can bring you that can walk, iPad. You can walk upstairs with materials. That's seven flights of stairs. That is insane. I can do that. Seven flights? We're thinking about it getting a helipad. Um, can you do eight stories? Why would the helipad need an iPad? Yeah, it's, it's like a... 
you know what? Actually, all our jobs, I'm looking now on my iPad here, and we've actually filled up all our jobs. So if you could just leave now. Your iPad's off. Yeah, well, that's because uh, all the working ones are downstairs. So actually, if you can get me one, uh, we spent a very long amount of time on this. Made up. I'm lost on these iPad things. Why are you only? Why only iPads? It was it was a made up. It was oh. made up. Oh, you don't really have iPads? No, I don't. That sucks. I have a story about something that happened yesterday, and then you, I want to hear about how your brother left you outside for about two hours. Oh. That's a good. That, I'm looking forward to that. Yesterday, I go to Uncle Vito's Pizza Place in Davis with my mom. It's a great place. I've never been there before, and they have pizza by the slice. If you're in Davis, highly recommend it. We're not on Davis rating. Also, no one's watching still at this point. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that one person. <laughs> My mom comments. She's like, I'm still watching. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry that I put you through this. <laughs> and so I, I go to Uncle Vito's, I think. What did you say? Vito's. I've never been there, so all yeah. I hear is Vito's whenever you say it. <laughs> I go to Uncle Vito's, get pizza by the slice. My mom and I get a pizza. Um, they're... There's a lot of people in that there car. Were way too many people there in was that like car. twenty. <laughs> and and um every, all the seats are taken. And so you, you have to like, you know, you sit down. There's no So you had to wait for a seat? No. There were two open seats, however. I I, I guess I lied. My story's made up. But the two seats were at the bar area. And there are nothing but like forty to fifty year old guys watching the NBA playoffs on the TV. And the it, this is crazy. Like, this is so cool to me. It's also very weird. Every time there was, like, a score or something, they'd be like, yes! <laughs> Woo! Go Stephen Curry! And I'm like, what is what is going... He can't hear you. It's like, if he could, then he'd be like, that guy's cheering for me. That guy cares. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's not as at his home with his family. That guy's sitting at Beat Up's Pizzeria. It was Uncle Vito's. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> and it's just, and it's crazy because I know, I at first I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was weird. It was just very weird. But then I was like, this is the coolest thing ever because he's he cares. This this sounds so like this this sounds weird as heck. But the fact that someone cares so much about something that they're so kind of disconnected from, like Stephen Curry's never gonna meet that guy. He's so you never can gonna never meet say Curry. never. That's true. He, he could, like, could post an Instagram post and be like, "Look at this guy, at Uncle B Dubs. I just met him, Uncle B Dubs." <laughs> and it's just weird because, like, no, it's not weird. It's cool. And I saw this guy, like, someone made a three pointer, and he, it's like everyone turned like seven years old. Like in that bar, age wasn't a thing. Everyone was like, I can well, age act. very age matters. So oh, age. oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Alcohol twenty one. So I'm in Uncle Vito's and this it's just like age goes away. Because like Stephen Curry makes a three, it's all about Stephen Curry. This guy goes, Yeah and then does a little shimmy with his hip. And I'm like, You're Do we do we have the age of this guy? Uh, the, Did you ID him? Could, I could, I didn't. Wow, holy crap. He could have been there drinking. He was, he was between 40 and 60. And it was just crazy because I've never seen a 40 to 60 year old man to shimmy. I don't know. It's just, it's so cool that you've never been cares. to a wedding before, have I, you? I, <laughs> I've actually never been to a wedding. Have you been to a wedding? Yeah, I was married three times. Wow. <laughs> I've been to many weddings. <laughs> okay, Trump. <laughs> what <laughs> What happened? In politics. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you get like a divorce or did you just have three wives now? No comment. No com oh wow! Holy wow! I've never seen any of these women ever. Are they women even? Or, or what do you? I was told we can't talk. How about you tell tell we, me tell me how your brother? So Hoyer uh, Snapchat to me yesterday. Like I said, we Snapchat. I mean, he sends me stuff. I see it. And you stuff. just see it. You don't respond. You just see it. Yeah. Somehow we have a streak. It means I'm doing my part. And so he sent me a Snapchat. His brother makes... You get off work at like 2.30? All right. So we decided to carpool because we go to the same place. You know, Yeah, you now work at the same place. And I'm like... Is that a good I'm thing? trying not to... Well, we don't really see each other. Hmm. And I'm trying not to spend money on gas. And, yeah. you know, I, I want to save the world and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can... You go friendly. I get off. Mm -hmm. Let's, we get there at 6, I think. Yeah. Then we get off at 2.30, I Wait, think. 6 a.m.? 
Six, yeah. It's better than 5.30, <laughs> which is another job. <laughs> That's true, okay. That's 30 minutes of sleeping in. That's true. Were you ever late to your old job? Yeah. You were? Yeah. Okay, by a lot? Sometimes. Like One hour? or two times, no. Uh, oh. Half an hour is the latest. You have to think about it. Oh my god. Half an hour is the latest. That's, okay, that's not bad. Because you, that snooze button is like, it's really nice. It's asking for it. It wants you to hit it. <laughs> and then later on, I just started like ignoring my alarm and yeah. my sleep. So like, yes. okay, so I, I just start sleeping in. Yes. I'm just going to hijack this conversation again. I did a PowerPoint presentation in my public speaking class on sleep. Quality sleep versus quantity sleep. And this is just complete dry material right here. And what I learned is that even though I don't follow it, quality of sleep matters much more than quantity of sleep. If you sleep from 1 a.m. to 4 p.m., that's way worse than if you slept from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Even though it's less sleep by far. The um, If you go to sleep when it's dark outside, your circadian rhythm is more intact, like your internal clock. I know, mind-blowing stuff. And so it's not really mind-blowing, that word is... Can you spell it out, please? Circadian. Okay. I think Circumference. That's like, I think we're going? thinking of different things. Oh, we're good. Okay. Both math things, I think. Maybe history. <laughs> and your, your circadian rhythm is more um, in, you know, sync when it's dark outside. So if you sleep when it's dark outside, your body, like, ju like just naturally does it. So what I learned is, you know how you can just wake up at the same time every day? Have you noticed that? Uh, yeah, it's not happened to me yet. No, okay. I tried. <laughs> in, I used to be able to do it in middle school and high school, that you just wake up at the same time every day, you don't set an alarm. All of high school, I never... Well, really? No. I you were late a few times. Yeah, no. I, doesn't mean I <laughs> set an alarm. <laughs> but it, I woke up on my time. From okay. like 6th to 10th grade, I never set an alarm. But then once I got into like these clubs where I had to show up early, then I set alarms. But I would always just wake up naturally. For me, it's more like I just try to keep on squeezing more and more time into the yeah. little space. Yeah. So I got to go bed, go to bed at eleven and wake up at four thirty. Wow. That's now that I think about that, that's probably not the best five option. Five and a half hours. Hey, but your circadian rhythm. I went to bed in the dark, and then I woke up in the dark. Yeah, you were born in the darkness. It's like Batman, or is that Bane? I don't. It's Batman. Actually, I don't know. I've never seen, seen it. it. God. Yeah. So that I think I think that's why you know you even having trouble waking up. I'm not because I'm your doctor or something. So you want me to go to bed? What time do you want me to go to bed at? Actually, I don't care when you go to bed. I just wanted to drop some knowledge I learned in school because what I learned in school I want to apply it somewhere. So why not just here? Randomly? I'm still trying to do that. This yeah. business degree is not working. <laughs> the business degrees they're always looking to actually use what they've learned for good. So go, go ahead, uh, your brother... So we carpool? Yeah, yeah, you carpool. We're back to this. And then I learned that he has a meeting, like an hour, actually, it's probably about two hours before he got off. Okay. I was waiting in the car. Mm -hmm. I text him. Yeah. No response. Oh. And then... Uh, and that's when you took the hint and just hiked home. Is it hard? Yeah. It's probably hour, half an hour. Shit. So, like, if you're going to walk, that'd be like two hours. I'm not walking. I'm going to tell you that right now. There's well, Uber. I could Uber. Yeah, why didn't you do that? You waited two hours. Well, because every time... So, I was going to go get, like, a, a food or a snack or yeah. Starbucks or something like that yeah. to pass the time. But every time I'm like, well, if he comes out and then oh. I'll be gone. Yeah. And then... Isn't that, like, Murphy's Law? I don't want to say an incorrect law. Yeah. Because the one person that's still watching is going to be like, that's not... That's don't not worry. I won't comment back. It's the only... <laughs> <laughs> it's like future used doing research and it's like not work his life freaking idiot yeah but so like half an hour goes by okay. I'm like alright I'll go if he doesn't come back in five minutes and okay. I just keep on waiting Damn. it's like an, I think an hour and a half hour 45 minutes go by and then he comes out and he's like my bad <laughs> that's it <laughs> he offered to buy me a drink or something and I'm like I'm good like I just want to go home two to four dollars <laughs> I feel like that's an older sibling card he pulled, where he can just say, my bad, and then just like... And I took it as really, card. he didn't have control over it, so okay. I just... Look at you. I'm an adult. The younger siblings handle things better. Well, I'm a favorite. I'm the favorite child. Same. I don't know about that. Okay. Well, isn't it kind of weird how you, your like, parents tell you, like, oh, yeah, 
you know, we don't have a favorite. Do you think... Deep okay, down, they have a favorite. Yeah, is And I'm crazy? that favorite. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. I know for sure. <laughs> because we're all still human. So, parents very obviously have a favorite. Right? Yeah. But do you takes, have a favorite parent? Of course. Yeah. You do too, right? Yeah. Not gonna say. No, no, no. I mean, I, mine's obvious, I think, in my family. Mine's my dog. My... Oh, holy... Where... How did you come into this world? <laughs> First, Told you it was impressive. <laughs> this is how you came into the world and threw a dog. Wow. You ever seen like those big wolves? They're really big. I okay. I, I, I just, so I saw an Instagram post. I, I'll have to tag you in it if I find it again. It's a shocker. You'll respond back. <laughs> I learned that wolves are not the size of dogs. No, they're huge. They're gigantic. Yeah. They're like two to three humans big. So yeah, wolves are insane. Oh, I was talking to someone about this. If animals just decided one day they wanted to kill us, they could. We couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That'd be pretty cool. Like pigeons, just like Pigeon. gnawing our eyes out. That's your first one. <laughs> because they're everywhere. Like New York. You know those the, the people that feed the giant blocks of pigeons? Yeah. Imagine those pigeons just turn on you. I'd be afraid of ants. Imagine you one ant on your leg and then like you're like, what's that? And it's a little ant. Imagine like uh -huh. all of them. And yeah. you get a pet ant eater. I don't even want to. No, but the ant eater will be against you too. Not if you feed him. Ants? And then we tame the whole. <laughs> and then you just go right back to normal. There's animals back in. Yep. That's crazy. Man. But yeah, what if animals choose? We're like, you know what? Let's, let's just mess them up. Take this over. Let's take the wheel on this thing called Earth. I'll join them. That's not. You're their opposition. I'm hurt wolf. Shit! Just all these. Remember those books, like where the like, the people like transform into animorphs. Okay, and I, someone's a fan. <laughs> I've never actually read one. Someone but has I, the collection. I, I was thinking about how dogs. Do they name us? Do they give us names? Because we name. You haven't talked to your dog about it. No, no. <laughs> Have you talked to your? You got some weird animal <laughs> stuff going on in your family. <laughs> it's because you see your dog and you're like, oh, you know, Maggie. Hi. My dog has like 20 names. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think it's like a name or it's like a description? Like, oh, there's... There's, there's that loser. There's loser one, loser <laughs> two. I was, I was thinking more like... And there's the one that feeds me. Uh, no, it's stuff like that, yeah. Like, feed, feeds me, shows me affection, uh, scares me. Any, any other stories you've been holding on to? Well, I've been staring at the sign when we say it. It says $1 for any size. Okay. Soft drinks. Do you disagree with Why don't they just have one size? Oh. So you're saying instead of just having small, medium, large, just so large is what they're one dollar. Because it's, they're all one dollar. Yeah. Less paper cups. Oh, wow. Okay, so I was going to make the argument that if they make all large cups, that's more material. But then you'd get completely rid of small and medium. Wow. Or they just make one cup that expands in a different size. Okay, now you've lost me. Now, <laughs> now you're in a part. You know, like the straws, the bendy straws, and like you can like pull apart. Did I? Was that in my recent video? I don't actually watch your video. That's in okay. In one I'm of sorry. my in one of my wilts. I don't know if it's one I haven't made yet, but I talk about extendable that's a, straws. That's a very high possibility. It just <laughs> if you're oh, we should do that thing where if you're watching at this point, you you say you comment something. Where should we go next? We, oh, where should we go next? Yeah, comment where we should go next. And also comment, I'm still watching. And you guys are doing a great well, job. Well, you'll know if they're watching if they comment. So they really want to comment two things. Now you're just asking for a lot. I just want praise. I just want simple praise, honestly. Unwarranted praise mm. would just be great. Raining in. Oh, these episodes, if you're still watching, these episodes will be out Wednesdays. Now, this one will be out Wednesday if you're watching it. This was uploaded on a Wednesday. However, next Wednesday... If you're watching this on the day it came out, there will be no episode. There will be an episode the week after. So, as long as I'm in school, these will be bi-weekly. Does that make sense? Every other week. And then starting summer, these are going to be weekly. Every Wednesday. Along with two other series that I'm doing. Which I'm... One's Wilt. 
Wilt Weeks will be every Monday. These will be every Wednesday starting summer. And then Friday, I don't want to say what they are yet, but it'll be another series. It, it'll be better than this. This, I expect to be, you know, like, Wilt's do kind of well, you know? And then this is in the middle of the week, and the thing at the end of the week will do pretty well. It's the... It's the dip. It's the turtle macchiato of the bunch. It, it wasn't that good. The Wilt's are the biscuit, cheese, wow, sausage, hash brown, well, biscuit. The, then this is probably the full day. <laughs> I thought this was the caramel macchiato. You said this is in the middle. Oh uh, No, no, it's in the middle of the week, but then it kind of just dips oh. down. You know hump day builds up, and you're like, I got to hump day, and now I'm coming down. These people are like, God, it's hump day, this series. Don't, just you, the weakest. don't you want it up top? This is the extra motivation to get through the week. Yeah. I love that. You're like, you don't want to end up like these people. No. David. (laughs) No. That's what I think. Yeah, no, that's actually really good. That's That's my comment. It's great motivation for everyone to keep going. Um, Abrion, one of the vloggers in our group, started a podcast. Did they pay for that shout-out? I (laughs) made... No, that's just an... I'm just off the... Off the... Tongue? Noggin? Off the wrist. I don't know what the saying is. That's just a... Off the top of the head? Yeah. I might be on it couple weeks. Can I go? Oh, you have to be in Davis? My bad. Wow. It's actually going to interview a cow next week. It should be fun. A Sprite cow. If you did like this, I don't know how this, I feel like everyone says this when they do stuff like this. They're like, I don't know how people enjoy this, but there's always like weirdos in the bunch, you know? I'll be shocked if someone likes this. Oh, I know. This is crazy. If someone likes this, I just, it's very important for this video that you leave a like, because this, this is just... This is crazy. It, that's the thing. Okay, we said it at the beginning. I said it. This is going to be the worst one. This was episode one of Takeout. It's time for us to take off. Or volume. You can pick which one you want. Okay. Well, I'm Garov. A.K.A. Uh-huh. I'm going to say A.K.A. Every, A.K.A. every time we come up with a new name. My name's Garov. A.K.A. Garov. A.K.A. G. Slim. I was called G. Slim in high school. You are not. One person. I can, I, can, I can let you know who that person is. Go ahead. Let them know uh, who you are. We'll get better. Everyone calls me Hoyer. You can call me Hoyer. Solid. And this was takeout, and it's time for us to take off and get some ice cream. And we'll see you in two weeks for episode two, if I don't cancel this series. No, it's going to be a great If series. we get more than one like, I'll redo it. Yes. Um, for uh, like goal, uh, one like, and we will release episode two in two weeks. Episode not volume. And we need a good place to eat. Because oh, yeah, this yeah, was yeah. really tough. We kind of think of oh. somewhere. No. <laughs> no, this was completely... We no, it was, it was good, but... Yeah, yeah. There's nowhere exotic. No. We're we also in the middle of the suburbs. So, like... <laughs> there's, like, no options. <laughs> yeah. In those we'll, we'll have to go during summer to just some out-of-state place. Where are we going to go? Like, Nevada? Hawaii. Oregon? We'll drive to Hawaii. <laughs> Well, that's takeout episode one. Time for us to take off. This is Hoyer. My name's Garv. We'll see you in two weeks. Have a great day. I don't know if you can after this.